Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Solving Patterns with Tables, Part 1. Making use of a table can be a very handy way of finding the rule that determines how a pattern works. In your future years of schooling, such tables will be used extensively in a number of particular topics. Consider the following table. In the top row we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the bottom row we have 3, 6, 9, 12 and 15. You will normally be asked to find a rule that connects the numbers in the top row with the numbers in the bottom row. So we have the top row and we want to see how that connects to the numbers in the bottom row. If you know your times tables well, you will notice that each number in the second row is three times each number in the first row. Three ones are three, three twos are six, three threes are nine, three fours are twelve, and three fives are fifteen. That's very easy to see. For each of the following examples, identify the rule that connects the numbers in the top row with the numbers in the bottom row. Hence, write down the next two numbers in the bottom row. So example one, you've got the numbers from one to seven, and these are numbers in the bottom row for the first five numbers. We need to find this one and that one. If we look carefully, we notice that each number in the top row is multiplied by six to obtain the numbers in the bottom row. Hence, the next two numbers in the bottom row are 36 and 42 because six sixes are 36 and six sevens are 42. So here we have 36 and here we have 42. Example two. Let's have a look at this one. The numbers from one to seven and you have those first five numbers there. Each number in the top row has the number two added to it in order to obtain the numbers in the bottom row. Hence, the next two numbers in the bottom row are eight and nine. So if we go one plus two, that gives you three. Two plus two gives you four. Three plus two gives you five and so on. So we get to six plus two gives you eight and seven plus two gives you nine. So that number's eight and that number's nine. Example three, let's have a look at that carefully. We have the five numbers here generated. Each number in the top row is multiplied by three. We then add two to this answer to obtain the numbers in the bottom row. So three ones are three, we add two to give us five. Three twos are six, you add two to give you eight. Three threes are nine, add two to give you 11, and so on. Three sixes are 18, add two to give you 20, so that's 20. Three sevens are 21, you add two to give you 23. Hence, the next two numbers in the bottom row are 20 and 23. Example four, here we have the top numbers, and here are the first five. Each number in the top row is squared in order to obtain the numbers in the bottom row. One squared is one, two squared is four, three squared is nine, four squared is 16, five squared is 25, so six squared is 36 and seven squared is 49. That's 36 and that's 49. Hence, the next two numbers in the bottom row are 36 and 49. Example five. We look at the top row carefully and the first five numbers in the bottom row. Each number in the top row is squared and four is added to this answer in order to obtain the numbers in the bottom row. One squared plus four gives you five. Two squared plus four gives you eight. Three squared plus four gives you 13. Four squared plus four gives you 20. Five squared plus four gives you 29. So six squared plus four gives you 40. And seven squared plus four gives you 53. Hence, the next two numbers in the bottom row are 40 and 53. Example six, 
We have the numbers in the top row in the first five. Each number in the top row is multiplied by two. We then subtract one from this answer to obtain the numbers in the bottom row. So two ones are two, take away one gives you one. Two twos are four, take away one gives you three. Two threes are six, take away one gives you five, and so on. Two sixes are 12, take away one to give you 11. Two sevens are 14, take away one to give you 13. Hence, the next two numbers in the bottom row are 11 and 13. Example 7. Each number in the top row is squared, and the original number is added in order to obtain the numbers in the bottom row. Let's see what that means. 1 squared plus 1, that gives you 2. 2 squared plus 2 gives you 6. 3 squared plus 3, that's 12. 4 squared plus 4 is 20. 5 squared plus 5 is 30. So 6 squared plus 6 is 42. And 7 squared plus 7 is 56. So the next two numbers are 42 and 56. Now you can see if you know your times tables very well and you study the tables carefully, these sums are not that difficult.